you're going to set the fist for to the pot tonight after uh, a stunning finish to the game. It appears there have been a, a good deal of frustration before that as well. So how did you ultimately find that way to win this evening? During the game, we should have played more football. We had we, we told the boys in the first half, always when we played football, it looked really good. We were dangerous, that was fine. Newcastle did really well how they put us under pressure. They, they had to invest a lot and I think we could see that, that it was really a lot in the last 20-25 minutes when they started struggling a little bit um, with intensity. But um, it was we should have done better. I told the boys in half-time um, that even before we won one nil down, it looked already a little bit desperate. There's no need for that. Uh, we were forcing it too early. We played too many long balls without a real, a real idea behind. We know all we play these balls verge to Mo, for example. That's absolutely fine. They helped us a lot of times, but it's not always the case that Mo can just get him down and these kind of things. And we need to prepare these situations better. And again, being one down is obviously not cool, but uh, was uh, the least of my problems in half time. So we showed the boys if we do specific stuff, play the extra pass, then we can cause some problems because they took in their defending some risk, how they move to one side. Uh, and when we have ball was left and it really put us under pressure there, if we could get out there, then the spaces were immediately there. So we scored the equalizer. Um, and then it was just a difficult game to play because we didn't play a lot. I mean, all of your colleagues ask me now about it. That's why I mention it. Everybody asks me about it. It was just interrupted constantly for some reason. And that doesn't give you the momentum. Um, and also no chance to gain any kind of momentum. So in the end, um, I was really happy in the moment when we, when we got this last corner uh, in the 98th minute. And yeah, what more and... Fabio made then of it was obviously absolutely outstanding, a wonderful goal. Perfect moment that we scored in after 98 minutes, I thought, is the perfect response for everything what happened during the game. How big a moment is that for a young player like Fabio as well to be the, the game winner in such a situation like that? He scored now twice this week. This week now, what is today? No, okay. In the last two games, yesterday birthday. So it's probably um, a better week for the little one. It's an outstanding player, wonderful talent. Um, very mature in a lot of departments already, and um, so I'm really happy for him. So Harvey was best player on the pitch, and and Fabio um, decides the game. So that says a lot about the talent of the boys. The stop start nature of the game appeared to lead to a bit of frustration. It seemed to be a bit of needle between the two benches, particularly when the second goal went in. <coughs> What was, what was going on? I, I, I didn't see it, honestly. I, just, I turned in this direction to celebrate, I think. We saw what happens there, more or less. When I turned around, I was surprised <laughs> about what happened on the other side. So I cannot really say anything about it. Finally, for me, obviously, I always have to check deadline day tomorrow. Any chance? Uh, I, uh, I, I, I don't think so. But um, as long as it's time, we should not. Um, we should not close the door completely. Um, obviously, Hendo uh, is injured. Um, he got a hamstring, uh, which is absolutely not helpful. So, um, I don't think so. Any more? James? Yeah, I mean, just on, on Harvey, he seems to have gone to the next level so far this season. Big development in him. Is there anything particular you've worked with him or what you've seen differently? Just a year older um, and more training sessions, his legs, more games played. He had. I think he started an exceptional season last year. He did. He played a similar level. That's how it is. I cannot, I cannot now compare it now already better than last year. We are more influential for sure. But he is a midfielder. He is a, a guy we need on the ball and these kind of things. So, you know, he did really well. Um, There's nothing particular. We work on it. Like we said, okay, how we have to improve this or that. It's just um, for, the, for all the boys actually creating sessions where the boys get forced to make the next step. So that's it, where you um, deal better with smaller spaces, higher tempo, all these kind of things, and especially for a midfielder who's constantly under pressure. Um, we have to do that, but you need a proper skill set for that to, to improve, and that's obviously, that's obvious that he has that. Uh, what do you think this win can do for this team? Do, do, do you can see what it meant to everyone to sometimes win a game that kind of more than Yeah, of course we have to use any, it gave a massive boost. So from a, Rather frustrating night uh, in a lot of moments to a 
one of the best nights we ever had. Um, that's how football is. So of course it gives a boost, but we, we can sleep now twice and then we play Everton. So um, we have to make sure that we use these two days really well. Um, but yes, last two games, six points, um, proper score line. So that's all positive. But everybody saw it tonight. We have to improve. We have to. The next game will not be like um, that. Um, Everton opens for us now all the gates and says, "Okay, you want to go here or there." So we have to fight through this as well. Um, and that at good isn't and not at home. So yeah, we know it will be tough. So we have to be ready for that. Tom. That series that he couldn't carry on, so it was no tactical switch change. Same last one. You conceded the first goal in a number of games and won the other one nine nil. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, it's exciting, at least. Let me say it like this. Um, so we know that we have to improve. Really, we know that it's not. It's. It's. Um, how I said, when we played football, we were really good. Even tonight against an opponent who threw everything in between us and the goal. So that's the that's the truth, um, and that's what we have to do now. Consistently playing football, and there are moments when you have to force it. Yeah, but you cannot. Force it, force it, force it, and then hope all of a sudden you, you can start playing football. We need, we need uh, obviously still um, to make a few steps to 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 be as good as we can be. And um, but the, the next game is a will be a proper fight. I'm not sure we should think too much about playing football. So it will be a proper fight, and we have to be ready for that. And then uh, we will see what we get for it. So this game stand in the in the good set with Newcastle for a proper fight. Sorry. Will this game stand in good set for Derby because Newcastle? Put yeah, yeah, of course. It's a perfect, it's a perfect preparation, preparation for the derby, for sure. Hey, what's happening, everyone? Hope you enjoyed that show. If you did, please do give the video a like and subscribe to the channel as well. If you want even more Liverpool content, either in video or podcast form, do check out Redmen Plus, our subscription service. Tons and tons of great Liverpool content, both in video and podcast forms. Check it out. You will love it.